Hello everyone, today I want to talk about tips for using the DJI FPV goggles. So I've been using these DJI FPV goggles for well over a year now, and in that time I've learned a couple of tips and tricks that I thought it'd be worth sharing, since there's a lot of new people out there in just in the last couple of weeks who've recently got a pair of DJI FPV goggles, whether they're new and they're using it um, with a FPV drone, well, or using it with the, maybe they got it with the DJI FPV drone, or maybe they got their goggles separately and putting them, pairing them with a drone that they built themselves. Either way, the goggles are the same, and there's some of the same tips apply to both. So the very first thing I learned the hard way is that this little power cable falls out easily. Now, that's not true for everybody. Some people don't seem to have a problem with that. And especially maybe on the ver second version of the goggles, people don't seem to have as much of a problem with the way that uh, they have them plugged in. But I learned this, like I mentioned, I learned this the hard way. I was out flying one of my first or second flights and the power cable came out just enough to turn the goggles off and I had to sort of crash land it into a field. Um, my quick and simple way to solve this, I found it online, was to just put a little zip tie around the cable, around this holder there, and it has never fallen out since. There's another option, there's a 3D printable piece that you can put in roughly that same location to hold it in. Other people just kind of wrap the power cord around the goggle strap area. Um, whatever you do, I think it's well worth it to try to make sure that that doesn't fall out. It's something to be aware of. The second thing people notice right off the bat is that they don't always fit your face. Um, some people's faces, it seems to fit better than others. And for me, it's not too bad, but I did use a 3D printed shim that I put here along the side, one on each side, that sort of narrows down the, the foam a little bit so that it's a little bit closer on the sides of my face and a little bit less light gets into the sides. Not that light leak is really a problem because the goggles are really bright. Um, and I can actually see a lot of stuff around my nose. And I use that all the time to kind of look down at my, <laughs> pick things up or look down at the radio. But if it doesn't fit your face very well, try those 3D printed shims if your face is a little narrower like mine. Or you can also get now, DJI has a thicker foam you can put on them. And I think there are a couple of other third parties that also sell foam that fit the DJI goggles now. So another question I see asked all the time is, what if you need to wear glasses in order to see the screens very well in the goggles? Well, one nice thing about the DJI goggles is that if your glasses are not huge, they will actually fit right inside the goggles. Now, even with these 3D printed shims, I can fit my goggles in, or my, my glasses into the goggles, but I kind of have to pull the, the foam around just a little bit so that they fit. But if I'm careful, I can get my glasses in there and still see just fine. Um, it's a little annoying because I have to be careful if I just pull the glasses off, goggles off my face, they'll grab these edges of my glasses and try to pull them off. But otherwise, you can fit a lot of glasses right inside the goggles. Um, but if you don't want to do it that way, there are some, I think, well, DJI, first of all, made some lens inserts that you could snap in there. They don't seem to be available anymore. I don't know if they've just decided to stop making them or what. But there are other third-party companies like RHO Lens. I know um, there's a lot of people out there who've had a lot of success using those. They're a little bit spendy, but you can get those and snap them in here, and then you won't have to wear your glasses either. There's also some 3D printable adapters you can get to like uh, take apart your old glasses and attach the 3D printed piece and put them in here. Now my 3D print didn't turn out quite well enough so that it doesn't actually <laughs> snap in there. But if it did, then I could use this old pair of glasses I took apart and kind of stick them in there. You've got lots of options if, uh, if you need them. Now this other tip is extremely important. Never let the sun shine directly into the goggles. The sunlight will get into these lenses and it will focus like a magnifying glass onto the screens and it will burn the image. It'll burn the screens and you'll get a green dot or green stripe and you'll basically ruin your goggles. So if you're out in the field and you're flying, don't ever just set your goggles down like this and let the sun in them. Even if they're hanging around your neck, sun can get in there. So be extremely careful about where the sun is at all times and if it's in the coming into the goggles because it doesn't take very long at all. I'm not exactly sure how long, but even a minute is probably way too long for the 
direct sunlight to be shining in there. Another uh, suggestion I have is if you can get like a 3D print like this one, and anytime you take the goggles off, drop that 3D printed piece in there so that your lenses are always protected. Um, if you don't have that, even just a rag or a sock or something, or put your goggles into a bag, but just never set them down in a way that the sun gets direct access to those lenses because it doesn't take long at all and you will ruin them and you will have a bad day. So that's all the tips I have for right now. I'm sure a few of you who are watching this have a whole bunch of other tips and I'd love it if you'd leave those down in the comments on this video. And uh, thanks for watching.